Telvin Nethrand was born to a very poor family in Aldrun, 25 years ago. The mother became terribly ill after childbirth, and the father could no longer afford to feed his family. Frightened of what was to become of them, they sent their only child away, lest he too become ill or starve to death. The child was taken in by an Imperial named Marinus. Marinus raised the young Dunmer and taught him many skills. Marinus was a wanderer, and they often moved from place to place. Together, they traveled many roads and sailed many waters. Marinus was an adventurer with many skills and abilities, and passed on his skills to Telvin, the closest thing he ever had to a son. A year ago, just before docking in the city of Braville in southern Cyrodiil, Marinus became ill and passed away. Telvin decided to stay in Braville for the time being. He needed some time to collect himself after what had happened. Barely able to pay the innkeeper with what was left of their travel money, Telvin decided to look up a few bounties and became a sort of mercenary. Unfortunately, his skills were mediocre at best, and he could hardly take on any job that involved more than just a simple bullying in order to get a payment from someone. He had learned some basic weapon and magic skills from Marinus during their travels, but lacked refinement in set skills. Though Marinus had trained him in these skills all his life, he lacked the experience that makes a true warrior. After a few odd jobs in Breville, Telvin fell into a bit of trouble. He took a job he shouldn't have. Some local gangsters wanted some of their dirty business cleaned up. The job was going to pay an enormous sum of jewels and Telvin agreed to do it before he knew what he was getting into. When he figured out exactly what it was they wanted him to do, he refused. The gangsters were not only upset, but also worried that Telvin would rat them out. And so, they used their influence to have Telvin arrested, under the pretense that he was attempting to establish a slave trade and Telvin wound up in the Imperial City's prison. If Telvin ever makes it out of prison, he hopes to become the great adventurer that Marinus wanted him to be. And to achieve such a goal, he will have to not only master the skills he was trained in, but many others. Telvin has a strong bond with his Dunmer ancestry and his homeland, though he's not sure why. His bond to Marinus was just as strong, and he will never forget that Imperial who took a Dunmer child in and raised him as his own. Taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Dreaming. Oh, dreaming. What's your name? My name? Uh, I'm Telvin. Telvin Nethrand. And you are? Chiyub. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. Hmm. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. What? I'm sure they'll let us go. Uh, have we reached the Vardenfell district? That's where I was supposed Quiet. to... 
<laughs> Here comes the guard. Oh. This is where you get off. Come with me. Oh. All right. Uh. You better do what they say. Yeah, I guess so. Well, thank you, my brother. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Hmm. I knew they were taking me to the district of Vardenfell. I guess I didn't realize we'd be here so soon. Could it really be here? My home? Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Right. Uh, right away. Beyond this hatch. My homeland. My birthplace. I can't believe I'm here after all these years. The home I never saw. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Amazing. I've never seen anything like it. By the gods. Strange, it... It's foreign and new. And yet, it's familiar in some way. I was born here, but I've never seen it. I... I love... I was taken away when I was just a baby. Can't believe I'm back. It's as if this land were calling out to me, though. Like it has been my whole life. Vardenfell, Morrowind. My home. Oh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm sorry. I think I've been cooped up in that Imperial prison too this long. This is where huh? they want you. Oh. Get down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. All right. Uh, any idea why I was transferred here? I, I was in prison before and I... Let's can't... go. Oh. Move it along. All right. Okay. What in the world is that? Could it be a silt strider? Marinus told me of them. He said when he first got me from Aldrun, he took a silt strider down to Vivek and then got on the boat. He said Vivek was a shining jewel upon the water. Hmm. I'd love to see it someday. You finally arrived. Huh? Our records don't show from where. Oh, uh, well, I'm coming from the Imperial Prison. In Cyrodiil. Uh, before that, I was in Braville. And before that, I've, well, I've traveled all around Tamriel. Spent most of my time in, uh... Cyrodiil, uh, Hammerfell, and High Rock. Although we've been to uh, Black Marsh and elsewhere as well. Uh, briefly spent some time in Valenwood. I've uh, never been back to Morrowind though. And we also briefly spent a little time in uh, the northern parts of Skyrim. But I guess if you're wondering where I was born, uh, it was in Aldrun, here in the Val Vardenfell district. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's here. Hmm. Great. Is that all? I'm sure ah, you'll fit okay. right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. W what? Release? Am I'm being released? Are you sure? Head on in. Okay. Well, I've been in the Imperial Head Prison for in. weeks. Another releasing me? Why? Maybe they finally realized I was innocent. But then why take me all the way to Morrowind? I don't understand. Hmm. So I guess you're in charge of, uh... Processing here? Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Oh, good. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. So I really am being released? Amazing. This is great news. But why in Morrowind? I, I don't understand. What's this? Forms? Oh, uh, no. Oh, I see. You've got different sets of skills in these forms, I see. None of these match me very well, though. 
Uh, you mind if I fill these out myself? Uh, my mentor and father, uh, Marinus, always fancied himself a bit of an adventurer. I guess I should uh, also um, call myself such. Uh, his specialization was... I don't know. Frankly, he was uh, kind of a jack-of-all-trades, although I've noticed in my time studying that I do favor the magic skills a bit more. Maybe it's my heritage? I don't know. Um, ah, <laughs> Marinus used to say my best attributes were my intelligence and my willpower. Um, he trained me in several skills. Some were able to sink in better than others. Uh, one of his specialties, and um, one of the ones I best mastered, was alteration. Uh, we used that skill a lot in our travels, uh, as well as restoration. We were both fairly proficient in that skill. Used it a lot for healing, um, wounds and such, and illnesses, you know, so that we could keep moving and not have to spend much time uh, at the care of others. Illusion was always very powerful. Uh, the way Marinus used it, and he taught me how to use it fairly well uh, as well. Uh, we used that to get out of <laughs> quite a few problems in the past, some of which were caused by us. Uh, now, Marinus was a bit of a long blade fencer, but I always felt more comfortable with a short blade. Uh, that's something he and I could never agree with. He wanted uh, the reach and power, and I wanted the speed and agility of a short blade, so. Um, just a disagreement. And although it was his weakest um, magic skill, I was always very good at destruction. My destruction spells, although limited, were always um, much better than his. I always considered it uh, part of my heritage, I guess. Um, we also had to use a lot of alchemy out in the field to uh, keep ourselves healthy and improve our odds against um, certain adventures. Uh, he trained me in his armor specialty, which was medium armor. He always said it was the best. Not as heavy as heavy armor. Uh, so retaining the mobility of light armor and keeping a lot of the strength of the heavy armor. It was just sort of an all-around good um, choice. Uh, we were both fairly gifted in the art of speechcraft and uh, fairly gifted with the uh, in the process of uh, talking to people and uh, gathering information and uh, overall just uh, I think we were just friendly individuals. Um, we did a lot of uh, exploring and wandering and uh, in turn our athletics was uh, very good. We were able to wander many places uh, rather quickly and efficiently. Uh, all, all, oftentimes running from city to city without even stopping, which would normally take um, hours of travel. Uh, and one of his other strongest magicka skills, unfortunately one of my weakest, is mysticism. He, he was very good at mysticism, but I consider it to be one of the more complex and abstract schools of magic, and I always I was put it off learning it because I thought it was different and uh, difficult. Uh, but I guess it's something I'm going to have to master now. So I think that looks about right uh, after filling out these forms. Okay. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would uh, it yes. be? Uh, I was actually born on the 17th of Sun's Dusk. Um, which makes me uh, under the Atronach. Uh, Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Very well. Let's see. Name, Telvin Nethrend. Yes, that looks right. Uh, I am a Dunmer. Adventure. Yes, I think Marinus would uh, grin at actually putting that on paper. We never really considered it an official title for ourselves, but sure. Uh, I was born under the Atronach, that's right. 
I'm particularly gifted in my intelligence and willpower. Uh, my major skills are alteration, restoration, illusion, short blade, and destruction. Minor skills are alchemy, medium armor, speechcraft, athletics, and mysticism. That looks about right. Okay. All right. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Okay. I will do that. So these are my papers, huh? All right, I'll take them. This way? Continue through to the next building and talk to Salus Gravius. Salus Gravius, got it. Okay. Thank you. Can't believe I'm being released. I wonder if there's some sort of mistake. I don't understand why they're taking me to Morrowind, though. Hmm. Look at all this stuff. Oh, is that food? Oh, I haven't eaten a decent meal in a long time. That Imperial Prison food is... Ugh. Let's just say it's not the best part of prison. I could use some bread. I'm starving for some good food. Ah, oh, that's very good. Let's see what these papers say. Release identification? Hmm. For release by Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh's decree? What? The Emperor himself? Why would he take notice of me? I, I was, I'm a nobody. I've never worked for the Empire or anything like that. To the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morwind. So there's no mistake. Name Telvin Nethrand. Race Dark Elf Class Adventure. Signed, Sakushius Ergala, agent of Seidenin Imperial Census and Excise Office. 16th of last year. By the gods, it's the 16th already? That means I've been in prison for over 20 days. Well, I guess a little less when you count the time it took me to get here. Third Era 427. Oh. better get going. What's this? A dagger. Hmm. There seems to be a note. Herskar, don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger sharp as a scamp's claw by morning. Gensiel. Hmm. Interesting. What's this? A log pick. Hmm. Not particularly good at that kind of stuff. Let's try out this dagger. I haven't had a weapon in my hands for a long time. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Not bad. Anyway. I wonder if there's anything in here. What's this? It's a ring. It seems to have an engraving of some sort, but I can't quite make out what it says. It seems very old and worn. Huh. I wonder what it's doing in that barrel. Strange. Is that a lighthouse? Hmm. This must be the office. Uh, ah, are you Captain Celis Gravius? Good day, I'm Telvin Nethrand. Papers, please. Oh, yes, of course, here you go. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only arrived, only reached me yesterday. I am Celis Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Well... Uh, your background may not be important to you, but I would like to know who the people are that are sent for my release. I 
I have no idea what's going on. I'm Silas Grabius, Knight Errant of the Imperial Legion. Knight Errant, huh? Sounds important, and I can tell by your armor, you're definitely a high-ranking person. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, so I really am in Morwind, Vardenfell District? Yes, you're in Morwind. I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes from comes directly from the Emperor Uriel Septim VII himself. And I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are free. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. Oh, so I have duties, huh? Well, I guess since you're releasing me, I could do some work. I mean, it's got to be better than prison, right? Uh, I figured there would be a catch, though. Why would they get me to do it, though? They've got you here. They've got all sorts of guards and members of the Imperial Legion. Why me? I've never been a member of the Imperials. Strange. So what are my duties? This package came with news of your arrival. You are to take it to Chaos Cossades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Chaos Cossades. They'll know where you can find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you, and a dispersal at your name. Oh. Alright. Hold on, uh, let me jot this down on my journal. I don't want to forget what I'm doing for the Emperor of Tamriel. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, so you've given me directions to Chaos Cossades. And a package. Alright. As well as 87 pieces of gold. Huh. I should be able to buy some basic gear with this. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think you guys shipped over my gear that was taken from me when I was sent to prison, so... I don't have my weapons or armor. Or anything. Uh, so, who is this Chaos Cossades, anyway? Report to Chaos Cossades in Balmora. I can't tell you where to find him, but you are to go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for him. Someone there can direct you to him. Okay. And where is Balmora? I've never heard of this. Balmora is north of Seyd and Eden. Hmm. So are we in Seyd and Eden now? The road passes Pelagaid village and Fort Pelagaid, crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmoth, and then turns west across the Odai River and into Balmora. The South Wall Corner Club is in the southeast Balmora. On the east side of the river, for more detailed directions, talk to the alone talk to alone the scout at a real straight house here in Sedanin. But take my advice, you're new here. Take the silt strider to Balmora, fast, cheap, safe. Cross the bridge and head east. Can't miss it. The silt strider. <laughs> Never thought I'd get to ride one of those. Um Those are pretty detailed directions, but uh, I think I would do well to take the Silt Strider. Uh, I've been in prison for a while and my skills could be a little rusty, not to mention they weren't very good to begin with. And I don't know what, much about this foreign land, so... Might be a good idea. Should I... Is there anything I need to know about the Silt Striders? Silt Striders carry passengers and cargo between settlements on Vardenfell. Fares depend on distance to be traveled. Silt striders are giant insects. A compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell. Hmm. The driver directs the beast by directly manipulating exposed organs and tissues. Silt striders travel between Aldrun. Oh! My birthplace. Balmora, Seydanin, Suran, Nisis, Kul, Molagmar, Margon, and North Landing near Vivek. Interesting. Alright. So... What can you tell me about the Emperor? Do you have any idea why he might have uh, asked to have me released or shipped to Morrowind? Yes, Uriel Septim is still the Emperor. According to my instructions, he personally authorized your release from prison and your delivery here. It's all very mysterious, but that's the way the Empire works. Silence. Secrecy. 
let not the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll... Uh, complete my duties then. Maybe I can... be f completely free after that, I would hope. Alright, anything else? No? Very well. You should probably check out a real trade house on the left. Uh, you're on your own now. Good luck. Hmm. Vardenfell. It's amazing, isn't it? My home. Oh, hello. Oh, they sure are bigger than I thought they would be. Marin has told me about them, but he didn't mention just how big they were. Wow. Amazing. Amazing creatures. What's this? Ah, the warehouse. Hmm. So I guess I should uh, see my journal. Let's see, my orders are to go to the town of Balmora in Vardenville District and report to a man named Kaz Cassates. To find out where he lives, I should ask in Balmora at the corner club called South Wall. When I find Chaos Cassades, I must give him a package of documents and wait for further orders. And I was given this package. And directions to Chaos Cassades. Telvin Nethrand, you have been given these directions and a package of documents. Do not show them to anyone. Do not attempt to read the documents in the package. Oof, the package has been sealed and your tampering will be discovered and punished. Oh my. Follow these directions. Proceed to the town of Balmora in Vardenfell District. Report to a, na a man named Chaos Crusades. He will be your superior and patron. You will follow his orders. His residence is not known, but ask at the corner club called South Wall. People there will know where to find Chaos Crusades. When you report to Chaos Crusades, deliver the package of documents to him and wait for further orders. Remember, you owe your life and freedom to the Emperor. Serve him well and you will be rewarded. Betray him and you will suffer the fate of all traitors. I have the honor to prepare this at the discretion of His Most Sovereign Majesty and the Emperor Uriel Septim. Labrio Belienis, Personal Secretary to the Emperor. So I'm delivering a package that I know nothing about to a person I know nothing about. I can't look in the package. I can't talk about the package to anyone. And I don't know why I've been released from prison and sent to Morrowind. It all sounds very shady. Um, oh, I thought I had left these shady dealings behind me when I left Braville, but it seems I've gotten myself into more trouble. Well, I'll deliver this package, but I hope that'll be the end of it. I don't want to end up in jail again. Or dead. In any case, maybe we should ask around for some directions and some... Um... Uh some ideas to what I can find around this town. I believe it's called Said Anin. Uh, good day, my friend. Looks like a Bosmer. Uh, Hurry this up, will you? Uh, hello, I am Telvin Nethrend, and you are Fargoth? Are you the one the boat dropped off? Ought to see a boat arrive at that time of the day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. Your ring? Hmm. I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly shakedown Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Actually, I, I did find this ring. It's got some sort of engraving on it. I found it at the uh, Census and Excise office. Is this it? You found it! Amazing! Thank you! Thank you! You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell others, especially my friend Ariel, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's nice to have a friend already. Um, Ariel runs the trade house, huh? Uh, well, that's good. So you'll put in a good work for me? Maybe get me better deals? Well, I'm glad to have helped. Um, listen, now that uh, we're well acquainted, uh, any chance you could give me a little advice? Don't expect the natives to take to you right away. Colonists like us, outlanders, settlers from other provinces, will be more open and friendly at the start. Then maybe when you do a few things, 
get your name around, gain a reputation, and the locals would open up a little bit. Stick to your own kind to start, and it will go a little easier. That's pretty good advice, I guess. I was born here, so I've got that going for me, but I've never been here. I left as a baby. I know nothing of this land, unfortunately. It's strange, though. I, as soon as I got off that boat, I felt like it... It's calling out to me. Like a yearning. Uh, anyway. Um, what can you tell me about this place? Uh, Sedanin, I believe? Not much here. A real straight house, the census and excise offices. That's the Coast Guard, too. And a lighthouse. And that's it. Silt Strider Services, uh, Silt Strider Service goes to Vivek, Balmora, and Isis, and Surang. Hmm. The road goes north past Pelagaya to Balmora, and east to Vivek, and southeast to Ibenhart. Well, I've heard of Vivek, I hear it's beautiful. I'd love to see it, but I guess I have to make my way to Balmora. Uh, what can you tell me about the uh, services here? Get food and sundries from a real straight house. That's also where you'll find anyone who offers training. Not much else in the way of services in this damp little squat. I see. A real straight house. I'll have to stop by there before I leave Sedanin. Thank you for, uh... Thanks for all the information and help. By the way, I, I forgot to ask, what's your background? Uh, Fargoth, a commoner. I see. Well, it's been nice to meeting you, uh, Fargoth. It's nice to have a friend here. Uh, in this foreign land. Though it may be my home. I still... I mean, I haven't been here in... My whole life. Hello. <clears throat> I'm waiting. Go ahead, stranger. Hello. I am Tolbin Netherend, and you are? You're new to Saidanin, right? I'm Andrele Rathrion. I'm sure you have questions. Go ahead, ask. I have plenty of time. Oh, that's nice of you. You're very friendly. And a beautiful Dunmer woman. Huh. All my travels, I've never ran into uh, too many Dunmer, like myself. Um, sure, they were around, but I'm assuming I'll see a lot more now that I'm actually in Morrowind. Anyway, can I ask what you do? I'm a commoner. I do whatever needs doing. Cooking, cleaning, building, baking, making, breaking. And by your accent, I can tell that you are an outlander. Since you're new to these parts, perhaps you'd like me to share a little local lore. Hmm. A little advice would be nice. Me? I can afford it, so I buy a bed and I'm bored here. But there's no harm in sleeping rough and eating what you can find. Anywhere outside of town, you can just lay down and take your rest. Hmm. Provided there, uh, there ain't no thieves or kagodi around. <laughs> or a kagodi. But the guards don't like you sleeping in the streets. It annoys the gentry. <laughs> Figures. Uh, alright. Can you tell me about this place? Uh, right. Oh, yes, I've heard this from Fargoth. How about any rumors? I heard there's been some trouble up at Fort Frostmoth. I never heard of it? It's on an island called Solstheim, north of Vardenfell. Huh. Never heard of Solstheim. What can you tell me about this island? Uh, that's the frozen island up to the north, right? Sounds awful to me. If you're looking to get there, you might check for transportation in Cool. I think I've heard of Cool. I believe I was told that Silt Strider services go there. Anyway, it's been nice talking to you, Andrelli. Thanks for the company. And you are? Uh, Bedunius Nusius. Hmm. I am Telvin Netherent. Nice to meet you. Yes, what do you want? If you're looking to get out of St. Anine, I'd be happy to give you a little advice. I am looking to go to Balmora, actually. New here? Take the Silt Strider to Vivek or Balmora. Fast and cheap. No trouble with wild animals and smugglers and bandits and outlaws. Go see Darvane, Darvame Leron uh, over at the Strider port. 
over the bridge and east along the water. Tell her Vodunius Nucius sent you. Alright, I will. Um, I can do that. And that's you, I suppose, huh? Right, that's me. If you decide to take the Silstrider, tell Dervame Leron I sent you. Okay. Thank you. Ah, an Altmer. Good day. I haven't seen your dark elf face before. Would you like a little advice? Or are you looking for someone in particular? I was just doing, uh, taking in a little conversation. I've been in jail for a while. <laughs> Uh, I'm Telvin Nethrand, and you are Aldefire? It's a lovely name. Um, so, any advice that you might lend somebody new to Vardenfell? You look like you can take care of yourself. Uh, then why don't you do something about those smugglers in Adam Asart Adam Asartus Cave? It's right over there, near the Siltstrider Port. Yet these guards, look at them, just strutting around. Someone must have paid them to ignore the smuggling going on here. Hmm. I don't know if I can take on smugglers. I've taken on smugglers in the past, but... It was mostly, uh, bar brawls and things like that. I've never been to, like, a smuggler's hideout or something like that. That's doesn't seem like the smartest... Can we hurry this along? Oh, yes. Uh, doesn't seem like the smartest option to take here, being new to Morrowind and my skills being so rusty. Let's have a look around town. Ah, oh, yeah, so I had uh, directions here. Uh, Balmora. Take the Silt Strider to Balmora. Fast, cheap, safe. Cross the bridge and head east. Okay, so I'm crossing the bridge and then I'm gonna head east. Let's hear it. This way is east, I believe. Ah, leads right up to the Silt Strider. What's this? Hmm. I may have never set foot in Vardenfell since I was born, but I know an alchemical ingredient when I see one. I did most of the collecting out when we were traveling. Uh, while Marinus focused on the potion crafting. So, I guess I'll have to actually uh, learn how to craft potions. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. But I do know how to collect ingredients rather well. Not perfectly. Especially considering I haven't collected many of these before. I've never even seen some of these. But, I'm better than the average person, I believe. Oh! Adam Asartus. This must be the smuggler's den that Eldefire mentioned. I'd rather stay away from that for now. Some more ingredients here. Very good. Hmm. Very nice. Anyway. Must be the Silt Strider, huh? I should be getting to Balmora. I don't want to get in any trouble with the Empire. I just got released from jail. I don't want to get sent back in. But I think I should check out a real straight house first. Since I don't have any supplies or gear, other than that little dagger. It'd be nice to see if I can get myself some supplies. Beautiful place. I need to figure out if there's a uh, any place I can learn more about uh, Vardenfell. Maybe uh, somebody who's willing to share information about this this land. very foreign to me. Though it does feel like home. I feel almost like I know it. 
but I'm no fool. So this looks like a real straight house, huh? Let's go inside. Ah, hello. Ah, another lovely Dunmer woman. My time is precious, so make it quick. Sure. Uh, anyway, I'm Telvin Nethrend, and you are? Tolvis uh, Othraelan. Hello. Welcome to St. Anin, stranger. Is there some specific place you're looking for? Um, well, I was hoping that uh, maybe you had a little advice for me. Stay away from the mud crabs, swamp fever, or join the tribunal temple. Initiates get free cure disease at the shrines. Hmm. Huh. Swamp fever, huh? I think I may have heard of it from Marinus, although I can't recall. Any rumors going around? My cousin claimed he saw a city in the water near Narmok. He's a drunkard, though, and spends too much time in the sun. Interesting. A city in the water? Like Vivek? But Vivek is more of a city on the water, from what I hear. In the water. Hmm. Narmok, eh? Perhaps I'll look into that. I don't know where Narmok is, though. But I'm sure I'll find out. Anyway, it's been nice speaking with you, uh, Tol uh, Tolvis. Thanks for your time. What's this? Lives of Saints. Huh, looks like a nice book. And some some gear. So you must be a real, huh, my friend? You've piqued my interest. Please share your thoughts. Oh, thank you. Uh, hello. Welcome to a real trade house. I'm a real. Publican and proprietor. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. You're a new face here. If you want to buy from me, you have to barter. If you want a little advice, free to new customers, just ask. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions or popular scrolls? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd love to hear about your potions. Cure common disease and cure poison potions are most popular with travelers. Uh, fortify strength, endurance, speed, agility are very helpful in combat. Fortify personality and is popular with merchants and shy persons. Of course, fortify fatigue keeps you fighting at your best. Restore health and restore fatigue are perhaps our most popular items. And for a short burst of power during a fight, you can't beat Grief, Shine, Flynn, Maste, and Tsujama. Hmm. What about your scrolls? Vigor and Vitality are our best-selling bargain items, restoring fatigue and health, respectively. Omsivi Intervention and Divine Intervention transport you uh, instantly to the nearest temple or nearest imperial shrine. Interesting. Good for routine or emergency transportation. Heartwise helps you helps with persuasion. Summon Skeletal Minion brings uh, help in a jiffy. And Draethus Winter Guest does a lot of damage at a, to a, at a touch. Handy to whittle a too tough opponent down to size. Interesting. Any advice you could give me? If you want to live to a ripe old age, buy a weapon and as much armor as you can wear and still run from trouble. <laughs> that is good advice. Reminds me of uh, uh, what Marinus might have said once. <laughs> Buy a spell or two, and practice your skills. Don't, partic uh, don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder, and we don't like it. But you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws at all you like. Outlaws have no rights. Plenty of adventurers make a living from killing and looting outlaws. That smuggler scum down in Adamasertus, for instance. The cave down near the Siltstrider platform. Hmm. Everybody seems to be upset about that cave. I don't know if I can handle such a task, though. I've gotten into a few brawls with smugglers and at bars and taverns, but I've never been to a smuggler den and tried to take on the whole thing by myself. Anyway, um, let's see what you've got. I've only got a bit of gold, but... 
Perhaps I can buy some gear, huh? You've got quite a collection of items, don't you? What's this? Guide to Vardenfell. Hmm. That might be interesting. Mortar and Pestle. Ah. Fortunately, I don't have enough gold for that. Interesting. These are a bit pricey, though. What have we got in the way of armor? Any medium armor? Ringmail Curious. Uh, Kuras. Um. 80. Yikes. That's like all my gold. And that's another medium one, but that's 90. It's even more. That's a helmet. Hmm. I guess I'll buy the uh, this one if I can afford it. No wait, that one. The Nordic Ringmail Kuros. Seventy-seven. That's not bad. I'm getting a deal. Okay, fair enough. I'll take it. Can I get a little bit cheaper? Oh, about 76, come on. Oh, alright. Well, thank you. Let's take a look here. Um. Alright, well I'm sure that'll help. Yeah, I think so. In the meantime, um, I think I have 10 gold left. Uh, guide to Vardenfell. Oh, you've got one out here, huh? Oh, interesting, it's got a map. Hmm, this could be useful. Wow, it's fairly lengthy. Oh, wow. You've got one for sale, right? I'll take it. I think that would be a useful item. Do you have any torches for sale? Doesn't look like it. You've got a candle. But... I would really prefer a torch. Oh well, probably can't even afford it anyway. I'm pretty broke right now. Okay. Oh, but I, I wanted to pay for the Silt Strider services. I've only got eight pieces of gold. Well, Celis Gravius did say it would be cheap. I'm not sure how cheap it'll be, but... Hopefully it'll be cheap enough. At least we've got a little armor. Go ahead, if, worse if worse comes to worse, we could walk. Now that I've got a little bit of armor and a weapon. I still have my spells. I've been at a little bit out of practice, but... My trusty spells never let me down. I don't know many of them, but... I've used them before. There's the Silt Strider. I gotta tell her, uh... What was his name? He sent us here. Hello, another attractive we Dunmore woman. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Good day. I am Telvin Nethrant, and you are? Uh, Darvame Leron. This is the seaport village of Sedanine, Outlander, on the Bitter Coast region. I'm a caravanier, and I manage the Siltstrider port here. Tell me your destination if you're looking for a ride. Or if you're new to Sedanine, I can help you with local services, or any specific place in Sedanine you're looking for. Or if you want someone in particular, maybe I know where to look. Well, I was told to mention uh, Vedunius Nucius. 
Oh, yes, he steers business my way, and I do him a little favor now and then. Poor fellow. I don't think he's happy here in Morrowind. Hmm. Thervame Leron mentioned that she didn't think Vadunius Nusius was happy here. What else do I have here? I met a Bosmer. Yes, I got his ring back. Mm hmm. I've heard rumors of an island to the north of Vardenfell named Solstein. There is apparently an imperial fort there named Fort Frostmoth. I've been told there is now a boat in Cool that offers transport to the island of Solstein. Hmm. Glad I decided to keep this little journal. Anyway, how much for a trip to Balmora? Ooh, 14 gold pieces. That's a bit uh, steeper than I thought it would be. Well, I mean, actually, that's a bit cheaper than I thought it would be, but its I don't have enough gold for it. I suppose I could walk or just try to find a few things to sell. That may not be a bad idea. Might be able to find a few more ingredients around and maybe sell those to a real. Since Fargoth put in a good word for me, I'll probably get a pretty good deal. Although these aren't worth much, are they? Well, I'll try. Hmm. Not seeing much around here, though. Here's some more mushrooms. Make sure I don't wander too far from town. I don't want to get lost out here. Although I do have that guide to Vardenfell. That could be useful. Acts as a bit of a map, I suppose. And this road doesn't look too dangerous. more mushrooms here. I thought I heard something. Hmm. This place is a bit serene, isn't it? All these swamps. I imagine it can get dangerous, particularly at night, maybe. But, I don't know, right now it's just calming, relaxing. It helps that I'm wearing a little armor, I suppose. Here's some more. Very good. Okay. Might have enough ingredients to uh, get myself enough gold to travel over to Balmora. Definitely heard something that time. Hmm. Strange. Hmm. A lot of noises out here in the swamp. Let me see if I can gather up these. Haggletail, hmm. Very good. Got my feet a little wet with some swamp water, but that's okay. I'll have to dry them off. Oh, here's some more uh, mushrooms, it would seem. that man just fall from the sky? Are you alright? He's dead. What in the world? Where did he fall from? Maybe he was climbing one of these trees. 
What is this? A journal? I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I'll be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. Huh. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Number four has one been able to travel in this manner. Vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky? All without the terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. Strange, I guess he was using a spell. The time is almost upon me. My research is finished and all my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream out my success. Huh. So he was using a spell to uh, move through the air? Wow, he had some interesting items. Ah, scrolls of a carrion flight. Fortify acrobatics 10,000 points for 1,000 points for 7 seconds on self. Oh, so that's how he was... That's how he got himself killed. That is a bit, uh... Ridiculous. Hmm. Well, I suppose, uh... No sense in letting all this go to waste. I'm sorry. Tar Heel. Hmm. Interesting. A long blade. I could sell this stuff, I think. Make a little extra money. I won't need to sell my ingredients then. This is good news. I guess one man's misfortune is another man's good luck, eh? Something Marinus always used to say. Let's head back to a real straight house, see if we can get some coin for this loot we found. Looks like I may get to keep all those alchemical ingredients to myself. Start practicing my alchemy once I can afford a mortar and pestle. I think priority now is buying armor. Though he didn't have much. Maybe I'll find more in Balmora. Sounds like a pretty big town. Lots of stuff. Um, lots of talk of it, I should say. I'll need to read that guide to Vardenfell. That's going to help me uh, get to know this area better, I think. Can we hurry this along? Huh, this must be the uh, back door. Seems to be locked. Very well. Seems like the day is almost over. Hello? I was hoping I could uh, get a few drakes for this. Got a few things here. Uh, Colovian fur helm. Extravagant robes and shoes. As well as an iron spark sword. I could sell these, but I'm intrigued by them. I think I'll keep them around for now. And I'll keep his journal. It would be a good uh, memory of... Uh, of being cautious with magic, not to mention out of respect for the man. So, 83 pieces, huh? Can you make it 85? Come on, I'm sure we'll do more business in the future. Oh, how about 84 at least? Alright, thank you. I do appreciate that. Um, so, is there anything else I would be able to use from you? It doesn't look like much in the way of armor. A weapon, perhaps? He's got a few interesting things. Iron Tanto. Hmm. Maybe. It's not much better than my Iron Dagger. I could use some magic potions. don't regenerate my magicka since I was born under the sign of the Atronach. Hmm. 
I'm not sure what they would look like. Uh, don't think you have any though. Alright, well, I guess that's it then. I've got 99 pieces of gold, that should definitely be enough to get me to Balmora. Thank you. You've piqued my interest. Please, share your thoughts. Well, I hope to see you again, Aurel. You've given me some good deals. Uh, perhaps after I deliver this package to Balmora, I'll come back to Sedanin and explore a little bit more. As much as I want to go and Let's see hear. my home, Aldrune, I just can't give up the urge to explore these new areas and learn more of my home. So the Silt Strider can safely transport me to Balmora, huh? Suppose we all do that. Kill that girl. Those boots are ruined. Ah, <sighs> I'm just gonna take a moment though and let it all sink in. All that's happened today. On this day, my life has changed completely. This journey that's ahead of me, I can, I can tell it won't be easy or short. But I think I'm ready to face it. I know Marinus would want me to. <laughs> I know he'd jump at the opportunity of exploring this unknown and foreign land. And yet I can't shake the feeling that somehow I know this world. Somehow I've been here before and I don't refer to my birth being here but it, it's the strangest feeling. <sighs> In any case, I guess I'll be heading off to Balmora now and see what adventure awaits me there.